Recently, with the Cub Frontier, we introduced a whole range of new features. They've been really well accepted in the marketplace. So what we've decided to do is upgrade the Drifter with a swag of those new features as well. Let's have a look through. The Drifter has a huge internal living area. The Slumberest Cloud9 pillow top mattress is standard on the main bed and a foam mattress on the second bed. There's bedside lights beside the main bed and also for the rear bed. Bedside curtains next to the main bed and the microfiber leather lounge converts to a third bed. There's floor lighting in the camper as well as there's two internal LED strip lights and one external for the awning. There's a fusion stereo and speakers, and LED sensor lights under the lounge, and there's ample storage under the lounge and in the pigeon holes. The two 40 volt power points are standard, as are two internal 12 volt outlets. The Drifter comes standard with a three burner stove. Now that's going to allow you to make the most amazing meals out on the road. The sink next to that, now that's connected to two water tanks via a 12 volt pump. There's a 100 litre tank and an 80 litre tank. And it allows you to stay remote for longer. There's a huge amount of storage in the 1400 millimetre pantry drawer. Stainless steel, of course. There's a handy stainless steel side shelf that is optional. Now that's sitting just below the external amber light that is standard. The Drifter has a huge area inside the fridge box that will accommodate most of the largest fridges on the market. The Drifter comes standard with a 150 by 50 by 3 mil drawbar. Now this is massive and it's perfect for those off-road adventures. The fridge box rack is powder coated for protection and allows you to store things up there while you're on the road. The stone guard protects the front of the camper not only from the stones, but it also protects the rear of your car. There's two jerry can holders, two four kilo gas bottles, and a silent winch that's been part of Cub's armory for decades. The additional clamp on the drawbar for the jockey wheel allows you to store that jockey wheel while you're on the road. And a ball hitch. Now, this is the standard Alco off-road coupling. The jockey wheel itself, and the safety chains and of course a handbrake to keep your camper secure when it's parked up. On the driver's side of the Drifter you'll find two storage areas. There's one large one and one smaller suitable for some pegs and ropes and things like that. Behind the driver's side locker door on the Drifter you'll find the electrics area. In here there's two 100 amp hour lithium batteries. There's a 12 volt master isolation switch, a 12 volt resettable fuse specifically for the fridge, there's 12 volt accessory outlets and USB outlets. There's a projector, 240 volt charger, as well as the projector DC to DC charger. And of course, the 12 volt fuses. Further along, you'll find two water filler caps. There's also a 240 volt power inlet and the shower outlet from the Truma hot water unit. The wheels fitted as standard to the Drifter are 17 inch six stud alloy wheels with Goodyear Duratrac tyres. There's a huge amount of room underneath the Drifter awning. And for extra protection, there's a rear wall as well. Now, of course, the Drifter is made from Blue Scope Australian steel, so it's extra strong. There's rated rear recovery points, Cub's own independent suspension, supported by twin shocks. In the short time the Drifter has been on the market, it is proving to be one of Cub's most popular campers. So if you're a family looking for an adventure in a camper that can take it, the Drifter is the one for you.